And now, from the world's most news-biting source of politicomentainment, it's the New Mexican Inquisition with Kendra G. Brand. I'm so glad and thrilled that you're here. We have amazing guests. That's right. We have battle rapper Ronnie in the house. Give it up. We also have executive director of the New Mexico Film Foundation, Dirk Norris. Oh, I'm going to get them on the couch, but before I do, it's time for some news. Some of that. Uh, <laughs> guys, State Attorney General Hector Balderas is trying to expand his ongoing lawsuit targeting the opioid crisis. Balderas' motion to add more defense defendants was filed on Tuesday. Balderas said that Walmart, Walgreens, and CVS are all profiting from the sales of opioids, and they should be reinvesting those profits back into the community. You know what I say, Walgreens at the corner of Happy and High AF. <laughs> The State Department of Health's request to extend the medical marijuana plant limit uh, currently set at 450 plants per producer was declined by a district judge stating that the limit was arbitrary and not based on reliable data. That's right, Ultra Health CEO and President Duke Rodriguez. Duke Rodriguez. I, yeah. He said he was very excited and that he had already hired more than 50 people in the last 90 days. Meanwhile, House Bill 356, which is seeking to legalize recreational marijuana, has already passed two committees. And it's moving to the State House, you guys. So, Duke, maybe don't count your joints before they're rolled. State Governor Michelle Lujan Grisham fired shots on Twitter to county sheriffs who are claiming that their counties are going to be Second Amendment sanctuaries. MLG stated, a few law enforcement officers in this state have been making noise about how they won't enforce gun safety measures because they don't like them. Uh, that's not how laws work, of course, and it's not how oaths of office work either. <laughs> she went on to say that they went rogue. In response, the sheriffs went home and snuggled up in bed with their guns before the Democrats take them away. <coughs> Pardon me. A new proposition would require someone sentenced to life to be eligible for parole after serving 30 years. This has garnered strong reactions from both sides, to which I say, relax, guys. It's not like it's a matter of life or death. <laughs> oh, it, oh, it is. <laughs> it definitely is. Go back to freaking out. Everything's fine. New Mexico's Spaceport America, a multi-million dollar taxpayer-funded tribute to failure, is making a comeback. <laughs> that is... Uh, According to CEO Dan Hicks, Hicks said, you know, if I were betting, I'd say that this year, chances are very, very high. Oh, and he is betting with our taxpayer dollars. That's right. Uh, Dan already lost $200 million on a dream, and now he's asking for $60 million more of taxpayer money so that he can bet on a hope. I say that my tax dollars aren't going to act as your house money, and my state isn't your casino, Dan Hicks. <laughs> bow, bow. 
Recently, firefighters were dispatched to a hazardous materials call at a pecan processing plant. Uh, they called for advanced medical treatment for toxic fume inhalation. The firefighters determined that the employees suffered carbon monoxide poisoning from gas-powered pressure washers. In a rebuttal, the plant issued a statement saying, whoever smelt it, dealt it. <laughs> All right, guys, thanks for sticking around. We will see you in a few. Would you like to advertise your business on the New Mexican Inquisition? Well, just contact us on our website at nminq.com. Hey guys, welcome back to the New Mexican Inquisition. We are jumping right into our guest performer of the night. I have for you battle rapper Ronnie. So why would I give money? I'm happy, yes, and I'm fresh, no question. The clothes is clean, plus the sneakers so fresh that the soul is clean. Mm -hmm. We play the field, it's a contact sport, and I ain't playing basketball because I ain't like court. I think the bit about cash, I've been teeing the trap in my first couple stacks. I ain't think I come back, got beef, went home, got the beef in the bag, and they in that ass thing that I was coming back. I tried on the movie, but I never made the cash. I can't be real, so they said I ain't know how to act. But play the next to say. on the New Mexican Inquisition? Well, just contact us on our website at nminq.com. Wow. 
Welcome back to the New Mexican Inquisition. I am here with our guest performer of the night, Ronnie. Ronnie, how are you doing? I'm doing great. I'm living Thank the life. Awesome. Thank you so much for uh, coming on. I really appreciate it. I am super excited to have you here. Um, I'm excited to, to get to know you a little bit and maybe ask some questions about the community, if that's okay, too. Mm -hmm. Tell me, how long have you been performing? Um, I actually started rapping when I was six. Um, and then, so that makes it, what, 26 years now? Um, and been out here doing it for about 10 years. Nice. Yeah, so I mean, it's, it's, it's part of me. I don't ever remember not rapping. Um, what, do, what is the Albuquerque rap community like? Um, it's, it's here and there. I mean, I like to think of it as really strong, but um, it's more in battle rap right now, in my opinion, than music itself. Um, but they have a they have a nice scene. They just kind of have to build the economy up um, around the entertainment industry. Yeah. And I think the rappers that come to town, there's so much talent out here. They just don't really have access to like larger platforms. Yeah, uh, I feel like comedians have a similar problem mm -hmm. here in Albuquerque. Also, like we have plenty of people who are willing to perform and just like looking for those venues mm -hmm. and the platforms to do so. Um, also, as a comedian, I understand how it can be hard to uh, do maybe a more PG act. Mm -hmm. um, and I think that I'm going to try to take your method of just going uh, when I'm going to curse yeah. instead of just <laughs> changing my whole set. Yeah. I really like that. I'm yeah, going to take that. It's practice. It's um, practice. I was going to say, you've, you must practice that, right? Yeah, yeah. Rehearse, man. You're yeah. like around your grandma and you're just, is that when oh, you get it in? No, nah, man. My grandma probably going to cuss more than me, man. But... <laughs> He, she, my grandma would cuss at me for cussing. Yeah. You know? <laughs> uh, understood. You know how that goes. Um, so what is battle rapping? Okay, so uh, it's pretty much rap at its purest form. Um, just, it's competitive. Um, it used to be a lot of, uh, I'm a better rapper than you. Nowadays, yeah. it's more direct. It's more um, just discrediting the opponent. Also rapping better than him. It's a lot of performance. I kind of consider it like a performance art, like like acted out spoken word yeah. is just aggressive and disrespectful. So, I mean, it takes a lot of skill, but, you know, it's, uh, it's real fruitful for me. Um, that sounds scary. Yeah. Uh, we are both on a comedy roast battle coming up mm -hmm. um, on March 15th mm -hmm. at Red Velvet. Yeah. Um, Tell our audience a little bit about that and uh, maybe try to make me not so scared. Okay, so for once, you should be scared. <laughs> <laughs> for okay. two, um, it's just the same as a rap battle, except for you don't have to rhyme, which makes it, for me, a lot harder um, because there's no like structure you got to go through. Um, but basically, you just get a bunch of rounds and you get to tell a joke and just kind of destroy your opponent. And, um, you know, and it's a back and forth. So, I mean, if you check them out on like Comedy Central Roast Battles, I've got to do a couple of them and I bombed. Like I got smoked <laughs> when I was at the comedy store and had to get made fun of by like Jeff Ross. And Ugh. yeah, Dave Chappelle <clears throat> and D.L. Hughley showed up and they were like, this guy sucks. <laughs> and then, so, you know, you just have to practice. Um, I'm definitely not going to do that again. Come, uh, come the Red Velvet event, but yeah, try my <laughs> uh, hardest not to. You're gonna try not to suck this yeah, time? Yeah, try my yeah. hardest not to suck. But um, <laughs> besides that, it's an incredible platform. I mean, roasting anybody is pretty much one of my guilty pleasures in life. It's just, just ridiculously making fun of people for no reason. As a, as a roaster and a battle rapper, do you ever find it hard to be nice to people? Like, do you find that you like, fall into that sometimes <laughs> yeah um you know it's really hard to not have a slick mouth sometimes you got you you thinking it and you got to kind of stop yourself like this isn't this isn't a battle that's just she's just trying to buy some groceries leave her alone <laughs> you know what i mean but um um honestly i'm not really like that in real life it for me it's like a word purge so like all the stuff that i think about saying and wouldn't say to anybody is exactly what i say in the battle and, yeah. um, and that's kind of how it goes. You know how it is. You, you see people and you're like, this would be hilarious if I said this out loud. But You, you got to filter. Mm -hmm, um, you know, church and stuff. Where can people find you, social media, that kind of thing? Um, Ronald Driscoll on Facebook because they're the government and they don't let you use nicknames anymore. 
Uh, Aluma Ronnie on Instagram, and then Ronnie underscore Red Hat underscore Bingo on Instagram. And that's uh, R A H N E Y. R A H N E Y. Yeah, correct. Um, also on YouTube, you can find um, Universal Battle Realm. Just search R A H N E Y versus, and you can check out all my battles too. Awesome. Thank you so much for coming yeah, on, Ronnie. Yeah, baby. Guys, stay tuned. Give it up for Ronnie. Mexico. Would you like to advertise your business on the New Mexican Inquisition? Well, just contact us on our website at nminq.com. Welcome back to the New Mexican Inquisition. I am so tickled to bring out your next guest. We have the founder and executive director of the New Mexico Film Foundation. It is Dirk Norris. Thank you. Hey, Dirk. Hey, Kendra. Thanks, thanks so much. Thanks for coming on, Dirk. How are you doing tonight? Ron, what's up, man? How you doing? What's happening, Dirk? You doing good? I'm doing great. Yeah? I'm so glad this is the New Mexico Inquisition and not the Spanish Inquisition. Well, yeah, they're right. very different. Yeah, they're ours. Um, but, you know. No torture here, right? Uh, you <laughs> haven't really seen what happens behind <laughs> okay, right. the green screen. <laughs> Granted, right. Yeah. Um, it's not pretty, but at le <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. We, we put up with what we have to. Good. Uh, I hear that you guys have a showcase coming up. Why don't you tell me about that showcase? Yeah, this is our actor showcase. It's the sixth year we have done this. And it, the purpose of it is to bring attention to the acting talent that we have here in New Mexico. And we have a lot of it. Yeah. So um, what the actors do is submit a two-minute video audition. And they're judged on the video audition, the quality of the performance, um, as well as the sound and the lighting. Um, we're trying to raise the bar in professionalism, right? Gotcha. So they put themselves in one of five categories based on either age or experience. Mm -hmm. So we have a category for uh, 17 and under, 55 and over, and then uh, beginner, intermediate, and professional based on how many roles they've had. So we judge all those um, submissions and we pick four from each of those four, uh, five categories to appear live on stage. And at that event, which will be March 17th, um, yeah. at the UNM Continuing Ed Auditorium, which is a beautiful, a beautiful place. It's like 600 seats. Wow, nice. Uh, it's a wonderful theater. Um, so they'll, uh, an actor will come out on stage. And on stage, we have a director, we have a camera uh, person, and then we have a reader. So the actor will come out and do a monologue. They'll get direction from the director and then do their monologue again and incorporate the directions they've gotten. And they're judged on that. Um, and in the audience, we have our judges and we have uh, casting director Joedna Bolden, um, who's um, huge in New Mexico, um, Janet Davidson, we have Morris Studi, um, and uh, Catherine Brink, which is uh, one of the casting directors. So wonderful judges. So um, they'll judge all those people, and um, we'll pick one from each category to win a bouquet of flowers Ooh. and a certificate. Okay, fancy. And, yeah. <laughs> uh, how many people would you say submit to this? So 20 people get to perform, correct? Right, 20 people uh, perform. How, about how many people do you think have submitted? We, um, this year we had uh, about uh, close to 50. 50 okay. people submit. Yeah, right. Our so first year, I think we had 60 people um, submit. So yeah, uh, and we tried to get, uh, we tried to do a regional showcase in Las Cruces and get yeah. some of those people involved. Uh, we have three people that are coming up from Las Cruces um, that are going to be participating. So that's really terrific. It's statewide. We want to get everybody. All right. We're going to do it. Um, tell me about the New Mexico Film Foundation. What exactly is it that you guys do? Yeah, so we're a nonprofit, and our mission is to help grow the film industry from within the state and to um, support the local filmmakers, particularly the above the line folks, so writers, directors, producers, and actors. Mm -hmm. um, when Hollywood comes here, it's really terrific, and they hire a ton of people, but those four positions are the ones, only ones they really don't hire. Yeah. They're, you know, they're hiring actors and more and more actors, but it's still not enough. But it's already written. They already have their producers and directors. So we're trying to bring attention to the fact that we have these people in New Mexico. They can do, uh, they can make wonderful uh, films. They have wonderful stories to tell. And they just need some support and encouragement. Cool. Um... Yeah. 
Now, Dirk, tell me, is uh, running a foundation like this kind of uh, like the old saying, like, if you can't do, teach? Um, I'm trying to you think what the You guys are supposed to laugh at that, or it's just me. <laughs> I was like, dang, that's cold. <laughs> yeah, right, right. You just God. kind of <laughs> No, my God. advice is don't do it. <laughs> don't put it off. Yeah, um, you know, the nonprofit world is, is um, tough. It's a brutal one. It can one. be um, yeah. really hard to, you know, get um, especially the financing. Yeah. And that's, uh, but th there are a lot of people that have a lot of passion for this. Yeah. And I'm blessed to have a really terrific board, uh, and the board members are passionate about what we're doing, and that helps a whole lot. Uh, and, um, you know, you can, you can go a long, long way with just one little um, compliment, right? Yeah. Um, I had a gal come up to me at, a, at a, a mixer, and she said, oh, you're Dirk Norris. I want to thank you because you mentioned me to somebody, and I got, a, I got hired by that person. And so that's, that's terrific. That's yeah. wonderful. It makes it all worth it, I'm sure. Absolutely. Um, tell me about your new program called Above the Line. Um, this, well, and you kind of did. You touched on it a little bit. Yeah, those just are the focusing people. Focusing on right. Um, so this is a new directory, so yeah. people can list themselves. Those four positions: writers, directors, producers, and actors. Yeah. Can go online. They can create a listing for themselves and then be seen. Right. And it also will help us understand how many of those people we have in the state. Yeah. So I encourage everybody that's listening, watching. Um, if you're one of those people, sign up. Specifically actors, directors, producers, and screenwriters, correct? Right. Cool. So if you are one of those things, make sure you are going to... NewMexicoFilmFoundation.org. Excuse me, it's NMFilmFoundation.org. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, and yeah, that's our website. You'll find all the information right there. Great. Uh, that's amazing. Thank you so much for all of the help that you do for furthering film. Um, do you work with legislation at all? Um, you know, or try um, to push for any kind of legislation? Yeah, we're, next year we will. Um, this past summer I went around the southern part of the state and talked to legislators and kind of get a feel for what they know about film. And it's kind of like, well, I think we have incentives, don't we? Um, and that was kind of it. So educating the legislators about not only the film industry, but in particular the folks that live here and live in their districts, right? And and are the uh, the people that vote for them, right? So that makes a, a big difference to them yeah. and the opportunity to grow the industry from within the state. Very cool. Um, once again, where can we get more information on this actor showcase that's coming up on the 17th? Yeah, um, it's uh, March 17th, starts at 2 p.m. and it's at the Continuing Education Auditorium um, that's on university, and there's uh, more information on our website, which is nmfilmfoundation.org. Is this like a ticketed thing? Yeah, or? tickets are $10. Okay. Uh, and there's plenty of room, so I want everybody to come out and, and really see. It's a, it's a great show to see um, folks come out, especially these little kids. We have like eight and nine-year-olds that yeah. come out, and they just nail it. I mean, they're really, really good. And, you know, same with some of our seniors. They well, <laughs> They're great. They're wonderful. <laughs> uh, you guys got some eight and nine year olds uh, battle rapping out there yet? Uh, no, but whole, you know, the, you know, night is young. We can make anything happen. Yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. How about, how about seniors? Do you have seniors battle Actually, rapping? Actually, yeah. You know, battle rap don't got no age limit, so there's a couple uh, cats running around. There's like an old lady in Britain that's like 65. Heck yeah. Yeah, she be. I'm all about yeah. it. Yeah, I don't want no problems with her. <laughs> She's seen too much. <laughs> uh, well, guys, give it up once again for my guests tonight. We had battle rapper Ronnie. <laughs> and also film uh, founder and executive director of New Mexico Film Foundation, Dirk Norris. Thank you very much. Pow, pow. <laughs> You guys have been a pleasure. You guys have been a pleasure. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great night. You too. Thank you. Cool.